Hey everyone, today I have an exciting product review for you. It's the BenQ Travolo U speaker. It's a unique speaker designed specifically for people who consume content like educational tutorials, podcasts, language learning, and more. Plus, it's perfect for video conferencing calls on platforms like Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And of course, it does music pretty well too. But first, let me mention that BenQ sent me this speaker for free for the purpose of this review. So with that said, I'll try my best to give you an honest review. So let's get started with unboxing. All right, let's see what's inside the box. As you can see, the speaker comes in this nice packaging. It includes a USB-A to USB-C cable, a 3.5 inch TRRS to TRRS audio cable, a wall charger, and of course the speaker itself. I do like the design of the speaker and the baby blue color. My unit came fully charged. I did upgrade the firmware to make sure I have the latest updates. The process to download the firmware was straightforward, but I did run into some issues with installing the firmware on the device. I was repeatedly getting a transfer error despite having used a cable that came with the device and even trying to other cables. But I kept hitting the continue updating button and it finally installed the firmware. I also installed the mobile app. When you first launch the app, it should detect the Travolo speaker as long as it is turned on and the Bluetooth on your phone is enabled. Just hit connect. And in my case, again, it didn't connect on the first try, so I had to go to my phone's Bluetooth setting to ensure that it was connected there first. And then I don't know why it was showing up twice on this list, but once I got connected here, I went back to the app and saw that my phone was showing as connected. Here you can see the battery level, change the sound modes, which I'll dig into in a bit, and change the volume. You can also set up the safe volume feature, which performs a scan to automatically adjust the volume based on your proximity to the speaker and the ambient noise around you. And the last tab shows the device that are commonly paired with the speaker. Next, pressing the cock for settings will give you options to change things like the default language and other settings. So what makes the speaker stand out from your regular Bluetooth speaker? The Travolo U has three unique modes, music, video learning, and live. Each mode is designed to cater to specific audio experiences. And I'm gonna demonstrate the differences for you now. So make sure you put on your headphones for this section. First, let's check out the music mode. This sound is rich and has good amount of bass. It may not be as powerful as a dedicated studio monitors like my PreSonus Eris, but definitely on par with regular Bluetooth speakers like this one from JBL. I'm gonna to toggle back and forth between the different devices so that you can hear the differences and judge for yourself. I am recording the actual output from the speakers using this Rode NT1, so hopefully I'm accurately reproducing the sound that I'm hearing. Next, we have the video learning mode, which is really optimized for clear and crisp speech and voice. And this is the main selling point of the speaker. For me, the speech is definitely crisper and the voice is isolated. First, I'm gonna switch between the different speakers. Then I'll switch between the different modes within the Travolo U speaker. This is an excerpt from Chris Judd's YouTube video as I know that his audio quality is top notch. This is going to get repetitive for a bit, but hopefully it helps you get a sense of the difference in the audio quality. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, words of encouragement. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, words of encouragement. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, words of encouragement. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, words of encouragement. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, 
words of encouragement. This episode is different than what we typically do on this channel. This is a pep talk, words of encouragement. At first, I didn't understand the appeal of using this learning mode, even for speech, since the music mode sounded richer and smoother. However, after trying the learning mode for an extended time, I noticed that when I switched back to the music mode, the excessive low bass accompanying the voice became apparent. I definitely experienced less listening fatigue with the lighter and airy sound in the learning mode. Finally, let's test the live mode. This mode definitely sounds the worst out of the three options, but it's mainly because of the echo cancellation. This is the mode you need to be in if you want to use a microphone function. So, if you're in a Teams or a Zoom meeting, you have to have the speaker in this mode. That means we suffer a bit of the lower quality audio, but the listener on the other end of the line should hear clear and crisp sound coming from us. And although the audio quality sounds bad in comparison to the other modes, it is definitely on par with other dedicated conference speakers like this one from Jabra. I'll play the audio for you so that you can listen to the difference. There's a great story that you tell in you talk about your attitude towards rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think rule followers tend to be the least productive people in the world. You know, I think that, well, that happened to me last night. I was with my friend Jenny. There's a, there's a great story that you tell in your new book, Some Day Is Today. Uh, talk about your attitude towards the rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think rule followers tend to be the least productive people in the world. You know, I think that, well, that happened to me last night. I was with my friend Jenny. So the speaker is kind of a three in one. It's your everyday speaker for music, a specialized speaker for listening to a podcast, an audiobook, or instructional content, and a conference call speaker for your meeting apps like Microsoft Teams or Zoom. This speaker comes with a price tag of just over $200, which might seem a bit steep for some. If your primary goal is simply enjoying music, there are undoubtedly more affordable and suitable options out there. However, if you're in a market for a versatile speaker capable of handling multiple tasks, the Travolo U might be just the perfect fit for you. Before getting this speaker, I used my AirPods for listening to podcasts even at home, but ever since I got the Travolo U, I've been using it instead, and the experience has been truly enjoyable. The clarity and the crispness of audio makes it really easy to focus on the content, and it really enhances my overall listening experience. I have an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in picking up the speaker. Well, if you found this review helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.